Hi, Nixon. This is a review of your practice chanter lesson <clears throat> from January 15th of 2021. <clears throat> and on this day, we reviewed some just basics like the scale, uh, the G grace note scale, and then we went into the tune called Castle Dangerous. And we focused on the first bar only. And um, at the very beginning of that bar, there's a D throw. And so we also looked at the D throw scale. So we're going to get right into it every day. Um, I think you should um, practice along with this video if you can, maybe more than once. And we're going to start with the scale. I'm going to start on um, low G this time. This is a little different from what you like to do in person. I'm going to ask you to start doing your scales from low G um, all the way up to high A and then back down. Nice and careful. So ready? One, two. Uh... Let's do that again. Make sure your low G is ready to go. Ready? One, two. two scales. Okay, the next thing you want to do is uh, the G grace note scale. When you're doing this, making sure that the G grace note is the first sound that is made between each note. We'll start with our G grace note finger in the air, ready to go down to the low G. We'll go a little slower on this. Ready? One, two. Uh -huh. You may remember up at the top of that scale, when you get to F, right, and you're going to go to the high G, you do a thumb grace note from the F, everything off for a moment, and then put the thumb back on, that lands you on high G, it goes like this. Right, there you're on high G, then you just go to high A, can't do a grace note on that, and then go back down to high G, and then going down to F, you go... And then the rest is like normal. Let's do that G grace note scale again. Starting on low G with your high G grace note finger in the air, ready to go. So, ready? One, two. Uh -huh. the recording, listen for yourself and listen for any places that don't quite sound perfect, that just don't sound confident or maybe there's a part where you just have to slow down to get it, that's fine. When that happens, you either pause the video, do it on your own, or you can um, decrease the playback speed of the video to, um, to make it suit your, uh, your speed that you can play it at. Eventually, I want you to be able to play along though. Okay, the next thing we went over was the first bar of Castle Dangerous. So you want to get your music out, and we're talking about the, just the first bar, which means we're playing four notes total. The first one is a D throw, okay? Then there's an E, F doubling, and then a high A doubling, all right? When you go from the F to the high A doubling, remember that F, high A, and then the thumb strikes across the whole, and makes a G grace note, and it then sounds a second high A, like this again. 
And just a reminder, the D throw goes like this. Now that example was starting on low A. In the tune, the very first sound we make is actually the low G of the D throw. So we're going to start here. So here's the first bar of Tassel Dangerous. Again. I'm going to slow it look down a little bit. One more time. If any of that is too fast, either slow down the video or pause it and play it on your own. Um, the other thing that we talked about was a, the D throw. That is a new doubling for you. And you did a great job in the lesson of reading the music for that scale on page 75 of the tutor book. So I want you to go to that page and I want you to, to start the, the D throw scale. You're going to start on low A and do a D throw and then go up the scale and do D throws after every note. Here's the D throw scale. So ready? One, two. Uh... Thank you. 